All right, this is Ron Johnson with Ron Johnson's Aquatics. And if you see me in the back of my car, it's because I'm going to another fish rescue again. So whenever you do a fish rescue, you need a big net because this is a monster fish. I got a big tub here to move it in. Backup battery for sure. And I got a bucket. And the reason I have a bucket is I have a pump here. So what's good about when you do fish rescues is you always you gotta use their water versus your own water. So it's easy and less stress on the fish. So pump here to pump the old water into the bucket, dump the bucket in there, get the net for fishing there. And guess what, in two hours, I'll show you guys a new rescue. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ron Johnson. What I do is I talk about aquatics and I talk about well-being. I love my fish tanks behind me because it's something that's near and dear to my heart, but I got a special treat today. Something that's been on my bucket list, or something I've always wanted to do is to rescue a fish from middle school. You know why? I love kiddos. I know how important as a kid growing up and enjoying something like to do. People love playing video games. People love fish. People love to ride their bike. People love whatever it is. And I finally got ready to do that. So let me kind of give you a small glimpse into what I'm talking about. I recently rescued a fish, what I now call Nutty Professor. You know why? Because it was a high school I rescued from. So not high school, but middle school. And I like to call it because Nutty Professor was my favorite movie because of Nutty. Obviously, he enjoys eating nut and Professor because it's a high school. So I love, love the fact he's in there. He's in one of my biggest tanks. Actually, not the biggest, but one of the biggest tanks swimming around. And now he enjoys eating tilapia. Yeah. So I really love the fact I was able to do that. And thank you to you kids out there for allowing me to be a part of that process. I'm going to walk you through what's happening now. So stay tuned. And guess what? Not just that, but here's going to be a big splash in all my tanks and all the fish I have. So further ado, here we go. My first fish is what I would call Candy and I would call Crystal. They're my Montero Stingrays, something I really enjoy doing. I have two females and the one you see right there, that is Crystal and the bigger spot one, which you're gonna see right now in a few seconds will actually be Candy because all of us love Candy and that's why I named her Candy. Next up is Volt, my electric eel. So electric eels, they do mint electricity. We touch them or get close enough they do shock you and it actually is pretty painful, but I've done it more than once. I wouldn't say I recommend for you to touch an electric eel without having supervision or realizing that it can be painful, but they pretty much lay at the bottom and like he's doing, he's just hanging out, not even moving around. Next up is Vampire, our nickname, the Vlad. So this is my Amontes Vampire Tetra fish. So you can see, if you can't, it's hard to see in this video, but he has two fangs in the front, looks like almost vampire teeth, but he's kind of really shy and does not like the camera. Next is where I have a lot of aquatic animals. This Wiggly's right here. He's my deformed Oscar that I rescued from Petco. We got my Cerebrium. We also got my Grammy there, albino Grammy. We also have the red tail Grammy. So you kind of see his red tail in the background and we got my peacock bass. So that's in my 150 gallon tank. And there's another fish. Here's Kiss the Fish, my oldest fish in the tank so far. And in the corner is my albino pleco. So those kissy fish you see on a glass of tanks, I have one of those and he's in this tank and that's why the log there, but he's a really cool fish and everybody's really super curious about the camera in this tank. Next we got is Blackie, my black diamond stingray. So this is my, it's a male stingray, a little bit smaller, again, camera shy. Most stingrays and it is fresh water are on the bottom of the tank itself. So what you do see is him on the bottom of the tank itself. Next is my largest freshwater stingray, Marble. So he's here by himself. He likes to bury himself, especially uh, doing water changes, but he's pretty much camera shy in general. He's just kind of looking what's going on. You can see his little fluke on the corner right there, breathing in and out. It's nice to get close up of him. And let's go to another tank. So this tank right here has my other two stingrays, which I call Starburst and, uh, sorry, Starburst, uh, Giovanni and also other stingray I call Sapphire. You'll see another black diamond stingray. So in total, you're looking at about six stingrays I have. So I'm hoping to breed stingrays pretty soon, but this is what I have so far. Now this is Waze, my African lungfish. Now he is not camera shy at all. He actually goes straight for the camera, um, but he's a lungfish. So he can actually breathe in air and breathe out of air 
pretty much in itself. So he can breathe outside water and also inside water. So he's not all camera shy. He's probably looking for more food because he's always hungry. And I've had him for about a year and a half, but he's gotten pretty big. It's about 22 inches long at this point. But pretty cool little fish, and I like the rare fish. So next up is my MBU puffer. Now, a puffer is they get pretty large. This particular one does get pretty large. Next one is my albino arowana. They use you at the top of the tank. I love the color, so that's albino arowana. Not be confused with silver arowana. Next is her buddy, Nutty Professor. He's in the 300 gallon tank along with the catfish you see there, which I name him uh, Shovel Nose, the tiger is his name. There's Rex there, the alligator gar. And I'm gonna zoom out. You can see other fish I have in this tank. There is uh, my arowana, Jardina arowana, and another peacock bass. This definitely is larger than the other bass I showed you earlier. Now, this is another tank. This is a wallago, Black Hawk wallago. Uh, he's in the tank itself. He's kind of at the bottom, but he loves to eat, has a large stomach, is always looking for food. In this case, it's probably what is going on with this camera in my face. Well, next up, you're going to see another couple of fish in the same tank. This guy, if I can get in a little zoom a little closer. But this guy, I haven't got a name yet, but he is getting pretty large. I love that fish there myself. And there's another catfish as well in this tank itself. Hiding out and waiting for more food of always. Next up is probably my two largest fish. This is Bully, red tail catfish. Um, he, when I first got him, he was about three inches long, and now he's grown to probably 22 inches. Definitely looking at about two foot long itself. And he's hanging out, again, not as shy, but definitely curious about the camera. He is not camera shy. One of my favorite fish, I've had him almost two and a half years. Now, pretty soon you're gonna see another pot coup, but a much larger pot coup that I have seen, and uh, sorry, that I have rescued on the, other than Nutty Professor. This one I call, which we're coming up now, we we'll have to transfer the camera to another tank, open up the net, there he is, Big Dan. So this is another rescue Paku that I have. He's in my pond. He's probably about 25 inches long, very heavy fish, probably over 20 pounds, but he's definitely twice the size of another professor, the one I rescued from your school. But he is there, and I just want to show you guys what I have in my tanks and the cool fish and how much I immerse myself in this hobby. But this guy's pretty funny. He's all inside. He doesn't know what's going on. Definitely camera shy. I hope you enjoy my mini fish tanks and mini aquatic animals that I have right here behind me. And one to the left of here where another professor is. Um, mini fish that I have is I really have to take care of them. It's a full-time or part-time job learning about different personalities. That's why every fish has a name. Learning the kind of food they eat. So taking care of fish is not simply the things you feed them, the tank they're in, but the water quality. Remember, you got to take care of your animals. So here's a small clip of how I rescued or how I got another professor home because Got him from the hallways into the car, big splash, drove it out in 30 minutes, and finally got him home. So here, take a look. He is this in. thing it's only water. Guys, he is in. He's rescued. Obviously, he's a big size pot coon. He's gonna make a lot of water mess, but he's in. He's not a happy camper, but he's gonna get home in the fish room soon. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, so it's our first pit stop and about an hour and a half of the drive. You know, even though he's on his side, he is fine, he's okay. The, the bell bubble's going in there, but we're gonna get him home soon, get him his new tank and make sure he can survive the rest of the trip. So he's definitely a big, big, big Paku, but there he is, he's coming up and he's swimming. So 
Paku's do lay on their side, but this guy will be home soon. Well, I hope you enjoy watching my video, How I Rescue Nutty Professor, but he's down in the fish room. Let's take a look and see how he's acclimating pretty well in his new environment and new home. So you can see Nutty Professor's in my 300 gallon tank and he's doing really, really well. He's gonna be growing out a little bit bigger and probably move up to my 500 gallon pond. But you always see he's with about three other fish, which will be the tiger fish you see swimming around in the tank right now. You see a peacock bass, you see Jardini arowana. And to the top right hand corner, the guy is what I call Rax my alligator gar. But he seems to be acclimating pretty well. I got him eating tilapia, I got him other fish. So he is very, very happy in his new environment. And he's so happy to be in the fish room now. So thank you out there for allowing me part of your organization and part of your school not organization but part of your school so that way i can actually go out there and rescue a fish and now he's a new home it's gonna be his forever home not in a tank for sure because as he gets bigger like you probably saw big dan earlier he's going to be definitely in a home where he can actually grow out get more space to swim around i'm gonna definitely feed him a lot of variety of food maintain his health and make sure you can grow out into what i call a monster fish because he is one of those monster fish that love to grow out you see the tiger fish right there smiling but He's one of the monster, monster fish that I enjoy watching grow out. Big Dan's about this big, and definitely another professor will get that big. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment. Let me know what you think about the video, and stay tuned for more videos. Okay, we'll be coming shortly. Thank you for listening.